Hello, tiny people living in my computer. I'm Finn, and welcome to the game, uh, the show where we talk about gay things, and all the people are gay. By the way, I'm people. Uh, in today's episode, uh, for the second episode, I want to get this out of the way because there's going to be a lot of positivity, and a lot of inclusivity, and a lot of love, and a lot of care, and a lot of passion uh, for a lot of these. And a lot of it's going to be things that are overwhelmingly positive. Um, and shed light on things and are nice to it, but I want to start with what I think is the negativity of Pride Month. Um, And before somebody pops in and is like, oh, you're just a bigot, I, uh, um, I'm actually, what happens if you change a couple letters and put an F at the front? So, no, you're wrong. Um, But I want to talk about the negativity of Pride Month, because there is some. Um... And most of it isn't the fault of those who are being included and showing their love and whatnot. Uh, It's the fault of people who don't fit into the group itself. And then outliers within the group. Because the silent majority of people aren't doing anything wrong. It's just that there's people that are really loud and a very small minority of the people celebrating Pride who are doing things wrong. And we want to get that out of the way so that the rest of... So game can be positivity. Um, So I want to start with talking about companies. So, um, part one of my company's issue. I'll just throw out a company name, right? Apple. Now, let me ask you, as a human being, does having an Apple product, like, affect you being included in things? Does having an Apple product change you in a personal way? Does it affect your sexuality or your gender identity? Let me ask you another question. Do you think Steve Jobs gave a fuck? (laughs) Do Do you think Steve Jobs gives a shit if you're straight or gay or any of that? Well, he probably did, uh, and it was probably negative thoughts. He probably didn't give a shit about you because, uh, you were gay. Now, let me ask another question. The Apple logo. Apple. Apple. I don't have editing, but there's an Apple here. Um, it's a rainbow now. Do you feel included? Does that make you feel better? Does that fix, uh, all the years of social, emotional, sometimes physical damage to you, those around you, family members, loved ones, friends. No, it fucking, it doesn't. What the fuck is the point of that? Like, why do companies do that? And then they change it to a rainbow. And then the 30th happens, and at midnight they change it back. Why? Because they don't give a shit. (laughs) They, they, They don't care. Be, because whether they market to you or not, they're making money. And when they market to you, a lot of people who are gay or trans or lesbian or whatever, a lot of those people don't think it changes anything. So it doesn't cause them to buy more things. But it does damage the company because now bigots aren't going to buy their thing. And not that I want to sell things to bigots, but m- my point is... They change it for PR, but then it doesn't actually help at all. It kind of harms their overall business. It harms their relationship with their main priority, which is just humans buying things. But they also harm their ability to market towards gay people because those people don't fucking care about your rainbow logo. Like, I I highly doubt that you're going to find a queer person and ask them, hey... I changed my logo from black and red to black and a rainbow. Uh, does, th- does, this, d- does this right here change your opinion of my company? Does this make you want to buy things from me more? Huh? You want this? No. They don't, no, I, I, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> and then the same companies that do the logo change will have like an outcry or whatever later on from people high up in the company who don't like queer people. Like, 
It's like, here, we, we're not homophobic. Here's a rainbow logo. And then, like, the next month, it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, the CEO of this company has a uh, faggot tattooed on his bicep. Not because he's a homosexual. It's so that he can flex on the liberals. And shit like that comes out about, like, all these companies who were, like, it's like, we're inclusive and da-da-da-da-da. And then sometimes, and I'm not saying every company does this, but it's happened and there's been, like, reports. There's a tech company, I don't know what it was, but last year, uh, Pride Month happened. Uh, and then when Pride Month ended, they fired, like, I think it was a hundred and something people. And every single one of the people they fired identified as a queer. Some trans, some gay, some bi. A couple were just allies, but they just shoved them all out. Every single one of them had something, like, positive to say about gay people and negative about the company. They all got fired. And they all had proof of them being fired and them not quitting. Uh, I can't remember what the company was, but that happened. And it's definitely happened with other companies. Uh, but, you know, because we love gay people. By the way, we will not hire you. <sighs> And the last thing I'll say on companies is changing your logo isn't a bad thing. You can do it. Uh, I can think of a good example, uh, the YouTube company, which has now become more of a media company. Uh, well, sort of. Uh, Team Four Star, known for uh, Dragon Ball Abridged, all sorts of stuff, fun stuff. Uh, X in five minutes. Uh, they make dragon shorts. They, they do all sorts of fun stuff. Um, they... Uh, have changed their logo to a rainbow. They sold t-shirts with their logo as a rainbow. They did the same thing with the trans colors um, for their logo, t-shirts, all sorts of stuff. I believe currently they still have one of those. I think it's their trans logo they still have, but I'm pretty sure they have one. Uh, it's still up almost a year later, or at least they did the last time I looked at their channel in maybe November. Uh, but they didn't just turn it off. To be fair, Kaiser Neko is a queer man, and they've also had many other queer people, uh, trans people, whatever, work with and for them, so they do have more just there already, but, like, you don't have to be gay to celebrate gay pride, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you go to a pride rally, right? I say rally. That makes it seem like something else is going on. If you go to, like, a pride event... And you ask everybody in that building if they're gay. You're going to get a lot of no's. And that's fine. Because they still encourage the activity. They're still there to help. They're still there to spread the message. They're still there to, to help. But I assure you, these multi-billion dollar companies don't fucking care. So I'll put a pin in that because I'm tired of ranting about big companies. I did it earlier to my family and they were mad at me. Um... So, next, I want to talk about what it does in certain areas that is negative. For example, I live in Arkansas, which is very conservative. Um, and around here, you don't get a lot of pride events. You also don't get a lot of people coming out because we live... My, my city specifically is like less than an hour away from ex-home of the KKK and former most racist city on the planet and blah, 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 blah. And, like, everybody around me is racist and homophobic and sexist and blah, 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 blah. So, like, here, Pride Month is terrifying because if you are like, yes, here, I celebrate, I love gay people, even as an ally, people around you are like... What the fuck is wrong with you? And, uh, I've only... There could have been more that were smaller, but the only Pride event I can think of was in 2022 here. Um, I don't remember when, probably during the summer. Um, and I'm pretty sure it went well, but there was a lot of protests about it afterwards and before uh, from people everywhere around. Very not nice. Um, a high school near me uh, did a thing during the summer where they were like, Yes, all queer people come come seek seek refuge in this, like, little thing. It was like a club sort of situation. And when the, I didn't go. Um, but when people got there, people were recording it. The, um... It was actually a trick. Uh, see, all these gay people went to this building. 
Um, and then they were told to change or go to hell. Uh, and they had preachers and blah, 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 just doing their thing. And listen, if you want to preach or whatever, and gay people are involved, and you want to respectfully explain how your religion isn't into it, that's fine. But being like, you're gonna go to hell, is pretty, pretty not cool. Um, and due to the fact that you had to choose to go, and you couldn't be forced or anything, they're just allowed to do that, because it's free speech and whatnot. But like, it's discriminatory, no? I feel like it is. I... I compare, and I, I to some some people agree. Some people think it's a little bit of a weird comparison. I compare Pride Month to Black History Month, where there's a lot of people who use it as like a perfect firing range. So during Black History Month, a lot of um, racist people will use that time period to just like, it's like here's an event where they're talking about like why is black people good. You know what I'm saying? And then all these bigots will, like, go there and just be an asshole. Why does that happen? Or companies that during Black History Month are like, here's, here's, we love black people and colored folk and da da da. Get a job here, buy our product, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, leave a link to, like, you could donate here. We didn't, but you can. You, little Timmy, uh, living in Charlotte, North Carolina, you should donate. Why haven't you done it, $5 billion corporation? Not our problem. Not our problem. Not our problem. And then, like, the same companies will go and say something racist. It's that sort of situation, but with gay people. It's like, what the fuck's a gay person 11 months out of the year? Or, we hate gay people 11 months out of the year. And then for, for fucking... Not even really 30 days, because they start on the 1st and end on the 30th. They don't start doing any promo until, like, the very end of the 1st, and then they stop on the very beginning of the 30th. But, like, they're nice about it and everything, but they're also not. Like, what the fuck was the deal with the Burger King thing? Two bottom buns? And then, here's a sandwich that'll fucking clean your asshole, or whatever, you fucking freak. I know you like men and cock. It's like, what the fuck's the deal with that? That's, that? That doesn't, like... Like, I appreciate you keeping my asshole clean. Or whatever. Like, making me... Whatever the fuck it was. But what the fuck? <laughs> and then, like, the Skittles thing, where it's like... The only rainbow that matters during Pride... There's only one. Ours doesn't. So here's a white... Here's a fucking grayed-out version of our product. It's like... Why you... Sp- why you specified that it... Only... During Pride. Pretty fucked up. And then on the thing where the whole point is get rid of the rainbow, there's still, like, color on, like, the eye or whatever. Companies are fucking weird. Um, And then there's people that use it as, like, a firing range. And then... I'm gay. Most of my... All of my friends are gay. (laughs) Uh, I'm trans. My partner is non-binary. Well... Sorta. Of. My partner flips and flops. Basically gender fluid. But, like, some days it's neither. You get it. So, like... I love gay people. But some gay people need to shut the fuck up. There's some gay people who are rude to straight people because they're straight. Or they are... Not inclusive of certain gay people. It's like... I'm a lesbian. That's my wife. By the way, if you're trans kill yourself it's pretty fucked or vice versa it's like I'm a trans dude and that that is that is that is my girlfriend we are a straight couple but you you're a lesbian and you should burn in hell like what the fuck (laughs) and then there's the gay people who hate other gay people it's like I'm gay I like dudes but you like dudes and you're a bottom that's fucked up what the fuck? And then those people who do that neg- that negative shit then spew out and it makes all of us look bad because the media the media especially loves bad shit. It's like a cop did a bad a cop did a bad thing, 
click on it. Cop did a good thing, don't put that shit in the news. A black man does a good thing, we're not talking about it. A black man killed somebody, put his face on the fucking door. Or gay people, gay man solicits minor. Versus gay man raises $186,000. Only one of these is going on the news, and it has nothing to do with money. So, like, the people who do the bad make the rest of us look bad. Um, and during Pride Month, because news companies want to point at gay people, because Pride Month, uh, they don't choose good things to point out. And when they point out gay people throughout the rest of the year, they don't, uh, they don't pick good stories, do they? In, in October, if you see a thing on, like, I don't know, Fox News about a gay person. Is it a good thing? No. You find something about a trans person on the news during fucking February. Is it a good thing? No. Fuck you during February and October and January and every other month. I except for June. In June, we love you. Buy our product. Use promo code PRIDE. I hate it. Um, and that'll conclude today's episode of Sagame. Um, if you have more negative thoughts on Pride or more negativity spread during Pride Month, comment down below. Tell me about it. Tell me what you think. If you are straight, gay, bi, trans, if you're ace, whatever the fuck. I don't care. Just tell me down, tell me down there. T tell me how, if you're an ally or whatever, if you're gay, tell me if you have issues with Pride Month, or if you think that it should or shouldn't be a thing, tell me what the next episode of The Game should be about. I'd love to hear your thoughts, um, but, uh, till next time, you stinky gay people. <sighs> <sighs>